Welcome to my channel. So today is going to be a bit of a different video. Uh, for a start off, I'm going to be voicing over as I go. Um, people who are new, um, regular to my channel know that I usually do nails, I do the design, um, edit the video and then voice over. Well today I'm going to be doing it a bit different. This is not going to be a nails video, this is going to be a demolding video. This is my new project. Now I have got two Facebook pages. For the ones that are interested in nails, it is Alana's Nails on Facebook and Instagram. And I've started a new page for just for the resin, which is Alana's Arts and Crafts. Homemade art, Arts and Crafts, something like that. But I'll I'll leave a, like, a little description round about here or here of um, what the new page is called. So if you want to go ahead and like to that, I would be grateful so today i'm just going to do a demolding as i've showed you in previous videos i have been making some like resin palettes like this i showed you in a previous video of things i've been doing and i've gone a bit further now and started making clocks and things like that so i'll show you a clip at the end of other clocks that i've made from my grandkids but today i'm just going to focus on the demolding so i'm going to demold the smallest one first which is a coast now i bought this set which is a coaster holder and the coasters. Um, I've already made these off camera. Um, I will film some eventually once I get the hang of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but it only comes with the one coaster. So to make a set of four, I have to make these individually four. So I'll just show you these and then I'll finish the set off at a later date. So I'll demold the first one first. So this has been curing for a, about a day and a half. So this is a nice easy one to demold. So I'm just going to take it out, take it out first, and then I'll turn it over later. So that's the mold. So I'm going to make another three of these to make the set. And this is a steampunk feature. So I'll turn it over now and let you see the design. And here we go, a nice steampunk design. So yeah, I'm loving the way this turned out. It's absolutely beautiful. So like I said, this will be a set of four coasters. And this will go, this is a holder, so obviously I need to make one of these. I don't know how I'm going to get this one out of here. This is the first one I've made of these, by the way. So um, I will be making more with um, different things. So I'm not sure how to get this out. So I think it's just a case of, that's it, folding it in half and pulling it out. Again, this is cured for quite a while so about a day and a half so it is fully set oh. just put my mould back to its original so that just needs cleaning up so this is the bottom this is the top so like I said this is the holder for these coasters so eventually there will be four in here I think it can fit so this will be a coaster set and I've decided to do this in the grey on the outside and then the blue on the middle so I'll ombre it around the coasters I've decided to do blue but I mean I can make these two people's specifications so if you want them like as a black glitter black solid or anything like that or I can make these. I am going to be making these to order. I'm just making some up to show you what they would look like. But yeah, I am um, going to finish this off. Like I said, there's going to be another four in here. So this is going to be a set of four coasters. And this is steampunk design. Now, those that have been to, regular to my channel know that um, I've done steampunk nails quite a few times. And I do like the uh, design of steampunk. So I thought I'd have a go at some steampunk um, arts and crafts so here's my first coaster set so I'll show you probably show you this again once it's um, finished on my page show you the whole the whole set and I thought I'd do as well a clock so I have already posted some clocks on my page 
so this mold is quite well used and it is quite hard to get out so just bear with me a little bit oh, I think I'll do this off camera because this might take a while so I finally got it going so because this is thinner it does need once I've taken out the mould, it does need another day or two to cure properly. Because with it being thin, it does bend still slightly. Let's get that middle piece out. It's a clock mould. I've used this four times already. So it's good mould. And ready for the reveal. There we go. So, I mean, anybody that knows me knows I absolutely love clocks. So this is the matching steampunk clock to go with the design. And that's why I decided to do the coasters in the blue and the black, because black, I thought blue would go nice with this design. So I'm just going to put this clock together now. I've bought the mechanisms already. So I'll put this together on camera so you can see how they go together. Now, I did. You can buy these in singles or you can buy them in packs. The last ones I did, I bought in a pack of four of these. But this one I just bought in the one. So we will put first the plastic washer on. Make sure you get the 12 o'clock, the 12 and the 1. So you're pointing it so the hook points up towards the 12. Just like that. Now this one isn't long enough, so I'm going to have to buy another one because you can't get... So I'm going to have to go back to the original ones because I need that part there to be longer. So I might have to do it without the washer on. Let's see if it fits. No, it still won't fit. So I'm going to have to get... This is going to have to go for one of the smaller clocks. Um, I'm going to have to get... Because whatever you do it normally is you put that on. And then the other side of the clock you put on the washer the nut and then you put the hands on so i'm gonna have to get another one of these with the longer piece this will fit another one of the clocks that i've made which is a, a thinner one but because i've done this one a little bit thicker with all the gears in and everything that one isn't going to be long enough so i can't make it on camera today but i will show you the finished result um on my facebook page so if you want to go and check them out this is my steampunk range i am working on some other coasters at the minute as well which i will do a demolding on that probably tomorrow because i've still got another day work to do on it um and i'm really excited to show you that because it is looking amazing so far and i'm only halfway through the project so this is my steampunk range so once i've got the mechanism and finish the other three coasters i will post this on my facebook page so you can have a look at the finished results so thanks everybody for watching if you're new to my channel um i normally do nail videos on my channel so i've just uploaded one with me doing these ones so if you're interested in nails go and check them out um, but i am going to be combining my youtube channel doing the two the nails and the resin but keeping my Facebook pages separate. So let me know what you thought of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'm interested to see who made it to the end of this video. So in the description below, if you can put me some pineapple emojis in the description box, and then I'll know you've made it all the way to the end. Because uh, I'd really be interested in it in who's interested in these videos and watch it to the end and i hope to see you really soon in the next one so for now bye bye